Hello everybody, this is another Hot Wheels Collector video. Today we are looking at the 2017 Audi RS6 Avant. This car features in the 2023 Hot Wheels mainline and is in the J case for this year. I will mention where I actually found this car. So I found this car in a B&M store. And uh, yeah, it was in a dump bin. I've never seen a dump bin in a B&M store for a very long time. The last time I actually saw one was when I first started collecting and they just kind of got rid of them. Now they're just on pegs, but this store did have a dump bin and I was really happy to see it. It was actually at the checkout of all places. That's quite an unusual place for B&M. And this car was kind of in the middle of the dump bin. It wasn't on the top, but it wasn't at the bottom. At the bottom, there was a load of like fantasies and leftover stuff from like really old cases. And on the top, obviously this was the J case. There were a few Supras in there, but no Super Treasure Hunt or anything. But this was one of the only cars. In fact, it was the only car that I was missing from the case. So anyways, that's a little bit about the background of this thing. Now let me give you some facts about the real life car. So in real life, this car has a 4-litre twin-turbo V8 engine, which produces 597 brake horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque, converting to about 750 newton meters of torque. This car is also all-wheel drive with a quattro system and has an 8-speed automatic gearbox. This car has a 0-60 in 3.6 seconds, pretty impressive there. But the top speed is not that impressive. It can only go 155 miles per hour, but that is electronically limited by Audi. You can obviously remove the limiter, but that's obviously a modification. So as this thing is standard, that is the top speed of the car. When this car was new, it cost £87,000, converted to about $109,000. And used prices of this car right now are from about £32,000 to £55,000. That's about $40,000 to $69,000. But anyways, that's it for the facts about this car. Now let me show you the Hot Wheels model. Alright, so kicking off this showcase, we'll first of all take a look at the side of this car. And I'll first of all mention the wheel choice on this thing. So this car is rolling on the 5-spoke Y-Design wheels. As for the actual colour of the rest of the car, the entire car is painted in a glossy green colour. It is super nice and I think it fits this car perfectly. There is no tamper work on the side of this car, however there are a few things in the metal casting. So first of all, hopefully you can see this, there is a nice fuel filler cap. Then we have the two door handles, which are actually in the metal cast as well. And finally, I will mention that this car does have wing mirrors. It's very nice to see that, as this is a 2017 casting. So it's a six-year-old casting. It's by no means a new casting, yet it still features those wing mirrors. Very nice to see that. I'll also mention that the, all the windows on this car are wound up. Anyways, that's it for the side of the car. Now let's move on to the front of the car. Alright, so taking a look at the front of this car, I think it looks so aggressive and I think Hot Wheels as a team have done great on the details on this car. I think the headlights and the grille and everything look so realistic. So I will mention all the tampo first, so we do have the headlights which have been done in a realistic look. Then we have the entire grille which has been painted in just a solid black colour. Then we have the Audi badge which is done in silver tampo. We also have the RS6 badge which obviously the RS6 part has been done in silver and then we have that nice um, red striping accurate to the real life badge. Then we have a nice license plate which is actually a Germany plate because it does have a small little D. Hopefully you can see that. Obviously that stands for Deutschland and on that license plate it reads HW RS6 IM. And just below that we have that nice quattro badging on the grille of the car as well. Once again accurate to the real life car. Final thing I want to talk about on the front of this car is the splitter of the car is created by using the dark grey base of the car. Oh and one thing I almost forgot, the fog light on this car as well as the vents surrounding it have been done in black tempo and a small event to the right has also been represented through that silver piece of tempo. There you go, I almost forgot to add that little bit of detail to the review. Now let's get into the rest of this showcase. Anyways, that's it for the front of the car. Onto the hood of the car, there is no tamper work or detail here. It is just nicely done and accurate to the real life car. That being nice and smooth. The final thing I do want to mention is this casting does not feature any windshield wipers unfortunately. It's a small detail which is missing, however it definitely doesn't make or break the car for me. Anyways, that's it for the front of the car. Now let's move on to the next side of the car. Alright, so taking a look at this side of the car then. So there is absolutely no difference in detail on this side of the car. No tamper work here. And there is also no fuel filler cap on this side. 
You can obviously pause the video and have a look if you're looking for something specific, but if not, let's move on straight to the rear of the car. All right, so taking a look at the rear of the car, there's an outstanding amount of detail here. It is absolutely phenomenal. I even posted this car in a group and said, I just love this thing, I think the details are great. And people were saying that it looks so much like a premium. The only thing that's missing is the real riders, and I totally agree. It is that level of detail in my opinion, there's just nothing missing on it. But anyways, I will mention that this car does have a real light tampo, which has been done in a realistic look. We also have the Audi badge returning, once again done in silver. And we also have the RS6 badge returning, once again done in the same accurate colours, silver and red. Finally, we have that license plate, which is the exact same as the front, and is returning. I will also mention that the diffuser, as well as the exhaust, which are obviously an oval shape, are created using that dark grey base plastic. That's really it for the rear of the car. One final thing I do want to mention is it does have that nice little, it's not very big, roof spoiler on the car that is obviously accurate to the real life RS6. And finally we'll move on to the top of the car. So first of all we have these kind of nice roof rack kind of bits where you can obviously attach your roof rack to. I really do like the look of these on most Audi cars, I think it enhances the look, although I think on most cars it's actually an optional extra, you don't have to have them. But like I've said, I think it makes it look more sporty, oddly. Because it definitely shouldn't, but it just does. It looks great. And the final things I'd want to talk about is the nice shark fin aerial, which features in the metal casting. We also have a nice sunroof on the car, which is created using the plastic, which is made to represent the real life car's glass. But anyways, that is it for the showcase of this car. Now on to my final thoughts and review on this thing. Alright, so now it's time for my final thoughts and review on this car. I think it's absolutely perfectly done. From the colour choice to the details, it's all super realistic and they all suit this car fantastically. I also love the inclusion of the wing mirrors, just adds that extra level of detail in my opinion. The cars which I've recently unboxed and opened from the N case and a few cases before it, like the J case and the K case, have all been absolutely amazing. Hot Wheels are on fire this year and I truly believe it because there hasn't been a single bad car, I don't think, to come out of this year. That includes recolors as well, not just castings. And this obviously is not a new casting by any stretch of the imagination. However, it just holds up so nicely. It's done so well and accurately. So that's really it. I can't praise this car enough. But anyways, that leads me on to my score out of 10. One of this car out of 10, it's going to be receiving a very, very solid and respectable 9.5 out of 10. Wow, this thing is just magnificent. That's the only way I can describe it. These cars recently have been phenomenal. Keep up the great work Hot Wheels because these are the cars we want to see and these are the kind of details we want to see on the cars as well. Particularly on the new castings we've seen an extra level of detail. We've seen a lot of generous tampo work as well where they've done like more than the two sides. Sometimes they've been doing like three or even four on some of them sides which is crazy to see in the main line. Something we've very rarely seen in the past. But yes, really happy with this one. So there you go, that is it for this video, so I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and you can also press that notification bell so you do not miss any new uploads. Remember, you can also share this video with any friends, family, or any groups who may be interested in this video. But remember, don't feel pressure to if you don't feel like you have anybody who may be interested. You watching this video all the way to the end means so much to me, and I really do thank you for making it all the way up until this point. But anyways, that is it for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I really do hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.